you've seen her pendants or rings worn around town, you may have noticed that they're modeled after certain scenery and lakes in the UP. But not only are the designs UP based, but so are the materials and also some collections give back to local organizations. Now she's about to give us an inside peek in her studio. Come on. Let's check it out. process itself, you know, sometimes it's loud hammering and other times it's tiny little filing and sanding. And so it's, it is kind of meditative in some sense, especially the sawing, because once you get control over the saw, it is it's just following a line and you're sort of tracing the, the drawing that you made and making it into a, a, a shape in metal. After drawing her designs, Beth moves on to shaping the metal using a fine wire jeweler saw. Although Beth and her team laugh and enjoy one another's company in the studio, this step is very tedious. The next step is shaping the piece Pieces. Then to solder the pieces together, the next step is the torch. 99% of the metal used is recycled. Currently, Beth is working on a Wonderland series, and a handful of her pieces use resources from right here in the UP. And those pieces are featuring um, Great Lakes minerals, so I've got Michigan Greenstone, uh, Lake Superior Agate, and then Copper Agate. And the people that I, I get my stones from live up in the Keweenaw, and they find them all and cut and polish the stones, and so I've kind of got my secret source. Copper from the White Pine Mine can also be found in some pieces. Another locally oriented project Beth Milner has in store fundraiser pieces by collaborating with local organizations. A pendant is dedicated to the organization, and each piece sold $50 is donated, including the No Cayman on Trail Network and the Superior Watershed Partnership. This fall, two more pendants will be added in honor of the Superior Youth Theater and the UP Land Conservancy. Oftentimes their fundraising is like, a, you know, they're selling something that gives a dollar or two here or there. And I thought, oh, it'd be nice to do it with jewelry where they can have a symbol of their support and help these organizations at the same time. For more information on Beth Milner Jewelry, visit our website, abc10up.com. Reporting in Marquette, I'm Lauren Lee for ABC 10 and the CW5.